Hi everyone, Rini here and welcome to my channel. So once again, we are mired with nothing much happening with the crypto space because we are still waiting for Bitcoin to go above the bull market support band in order for our alts to do anything. There is an exception to that. A lot of tokens have pretty much not done anything except for cornucopias and the Kopi token. So let's dive into two price charts for Kopi just to see what's going on and identify a very huge arbitrage opportunity in the near future. And let's dive in. So what I have here is I have Kopi on the Binance Smart Chain on a daily time frame just to see where we are. So in our last video, we did say that Kopi was adhering to a Fibonacci structure that was adhering to the close of the candles here. So right now, from a Binance Smart Chain perspective, what we have is we have officially completed a wave 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We have also now wrapped up an ABC correction. How do we know that we are done with an ABC correction? When the price goes above the wave 5 high, that is how you know that this is a brand new structure and we have new price targets to the upside for this particular wave 3 right here. So we can officially close this as this is a potential A right here. This is a B wave high and this is the C correction that ended around the 236 and the Fibonacci before we bounced off it and we are currently on our way to a new 5 wave Elliott wave structure to the upside. But right now, what's happening to the Kopi price action on the Binance Smart Chain is we are currently meeting resistance here at around the 1618 extension of 4 cent. So if we keep getting rejected right here, do expect that we may fall down right here, wait for the EMAs to catch up like this, potentially rest on the 050, or if we have a major capitulation by Bitcoin in the crypto markets, then we could potentially fall to the 382 right here of around 2 cents before the subsequent move to the upside. So from a Binance Smart Chain perspective, we are pretty much on our way to our destination of around 19 cents. However, when we go to the Cardano blockchain, there is another story that is worth paying attention to. When I go to MinSwap and look at the current price of Kopi, Kopi has already reached the 20 ADA range when ADA is close to a dollar. So we have already achieved the 1618 extension that was our target for the Binance Smart Chain right here. So you're probably wondering, how is it possible to have a different Kopi price for the Cardano blockchain as compared to the Binance Smart Chain? The key bottleneck that is preventing these two price points from meeting each other is a lack of a bridge from Binance to Cardano. That bridge is still being built. Another thing to consider here is uh, the Binance Smart Chain total supply of Kopi is around 300 something million Kopi tokens, while in the Cardano blockchain, the current Kopi supply that exists within this chain is around 25 to 30 million. So it's actually not surprising that given that you can provide liquidity in MinSwap and you earn MinSwap tokens, if you stake that liquidity into their farms, then it's actually not surprising that the Cardano community has pretty much bought up a lot of Kopi in order to earn a lot of MinSwap tokens. So what's happening right now is because the MinSwap liquidity is very low, while the Binance liquidity is very high, there is a massive arbitrage opportunity here because if you bought the Kopi tokens now at this price, for example, of around 41 cents, once the bridge is up and you are very quick to convert those Kopi tokens into ADA, you are sitting on a 370% profit just by moving tokens very quickly to the Cardano blockchain and converting them back to ADA. Now, there are a couple of things to note here. The first one is, if you are buying Kopi just for this arbitrage opportunity, be very, very careful. Because if you're only buying it for this potential 370% gain, the problem is, what if you get beat to the punch by somebody with massive Kopi liquidity and price eventually just falls back down to what the Binance Smart Chain price is? You end up with bags that you don't want. So while we identify that there is a massive opportunity currently in the horizon while waiting for the bridge, don't buy Kopi tokens just for this arbitrage opportunity. So that in case that this doesn't pan out for you, you will still be comfortable holding Kopi tokens because you believe in the project. So some people in Discord are actually wondering what could potentially happen to the Kopi price action once the bridge is up and all of the arbitrage opportunities are maximized. What could be the potential price point that we will settle in before our continuation to the upside? 
So looking at the current circulating supply of Kopi across the two blockchains, there are 300 million in BSC and only 25 million in the Cardano blockchain. So right now it remains to be seen. I think the key thing to note here is given that the Binance smart chain supply is around 90% of circulating supply, whichever price level that Kopi settles in prior to the bridge would most likely be the price that gets settled across the two blockchains. As a final note, don't just own Kopi because of the arbitrage opportunity. Kopi is a good project overall. So while it's good if you can take advantage of the arbitrage opportunity, don't let it be the only factor for owning Kopi.